employees or customers what experience is most important to your business i'm here to tell you that i think employee experience is the number one key and i'm going to show you how survey sparrow can help us with that so let's get straight in so today we're talking about survey sparrow okay surveysparrow.com the links are going to be down below as always and a quick overview of the website with the products features solutions resources pricing and you can log in and sign in now there's many things that Survey Sparrow can help you with. And like I said, what we're going to be talking about is the employee experience. It's arguably the number one reason how your business can be streamlined. So let's go to an article talking about this right now. So what is employee experience? Now, from the moment someone looks at your job to the moment they leave your company, everything that is the worker learns, does, sees and feel contributes to their employee experience. What that means is in your business, whether it's the chair they sit on, whether it's the coffee they drink, whether it's the, the introduction they get as they walk in, that all adds to your employee experience. And to have a good customer experience, your employee needs to be having a good experience. That's just how it works. It's the employee life cycle, right? Identify what matters the most of them and create the personalized bespoke experiences. It's the foundational to business performance, sustaining customer experience efforts, improving products and building a strong reputable brand all required to help of your employees. Ultimately, it's their experience positive and negative that will impact how hard they work. I like how it puts that guys. It's the positive and the negative. If I'm uncomfy in this chair, if I'm not having a good day, if I've not had a coffee this morning, if I don't feel good, I'm not going to give you the best review on this video. That's an employee experience, which means you're not going to get the best review and that's your customer experience. So see how it starts with the employee employee experience. Okay, in this video, guys, I'm going to give you an advantages of employee experience tutorial. So you can actually have a look. It's only two minutes long, so let's see what they got. Employee experience journey map is a tool businesses can use to track and improve the employee experience. An employee journey map can be used to identify the essential experiences and phases of the employee journey and to look for the advantages and disadvantages of each step. An employee experience journey map should be created using employee feedback like the customer journey map. This will help ensure that the map accurately reflects the employee experience. The map can then identify areas where the employee experience can be improved. Advantages of employee experience journey map. Well, there are several advantages of using an employee experience journey map. Improve communication between managers and employees. Gain a better understanding of the employee experience. Identify areas where the employee experience can be improved and create a more positive work environment. There are many different steps in an employee experience journey. However, some of the common steps include recruitment, the process of attracting and selecting employees, onboarding, the process of orienting and onboarding new employees, training, the process of providing employees with the skills they need to do their job, development, the process of helping employees grow and develop in their career. Engagement, the process of keeping employees engaged and motivated. Retention, the process of retaining employees over the long term. Creating an employee experience journey map can help businesses to create a more positive work environment and to retain employees over the long term. Perfect, guys. Everything we just spoke about in there is what Survey Sparrow gives you. They give you a lot more. You can see here, refine product experience, refine all the different things, customer experience. Today, I wanted to specifically go on to the employee experience because I believe it probably is the number one that we should be looking at. Now, guys, one of the most important parts about this is the pricing, okay? You're actually going to need to put in your business name, email, and phone number to get the price in, but if you don't wanna do that, I'm gonna show you it right now. Okay, so let's start with the personal side of it. If you wanna go premium, you're at 29 pounds a month. That's on your yearly, okay? 19 pounds for basic, and obviously for free, you can get started for free by just getting 100 responses and 100 email shares. Guys, these prices are exclusively on that link down below, so please hit that link and get involved. You're gonna save a lot, a lot of money. Now, having a look at the business side to it, you can get the elite, which means you contact them and you will get a full side of quote for everything you need. If you want to go enterprise, it's four nine nine a month of business. You can change that by choosing what you need. But for the average and the minimum of ten thousand and fifty thousand, that's exactly how much it costs. It's incredible, guys. Super super cheap. So hit that link down below and get involved right now. I hope that I convinced you that employee experience has got to be up there in the number one spot of how to make your business streamlined and how to get the customer experience back grateful for you too. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell if you want to be notified and I will see you next time.